Minasan o Karina Sai. Today we've got an incredibly chaotic, adorable, and talented drummer by the name of Megu Sakuragawa. Born on October 24th, 1988 in Sakuragawa City, Ibaraki Prefecture. Currently affiliated with S Inc. and the music label Lantis. All of the background music in this video will actually be her practice clips that she has posted to her Twitter. And as you might have noticed, her last name is the same as the city she was born in. And well, that's because that is a stage name. Megu became interested in singing in elementary school after listening to Morning Musume songs, which in turn made her dream about being an idol. When she was 14, she played Belle in her middle school's Beauty and the Beast musical. And this made her realize that she is interested in both acting and voice acting as well. So in high school, she went to karaoke five times a week in order to become good at singing. They do say practice makes perfect, and well, she did prove that. Later, she entered ProFit's voice actor training school and became affiliated with them after graduating. Megachi debuted as a voice actress in 2009 by voicing an unnamed side character in the anime White Album. She made her debut as a singer while she was still a student with the song Sumasaki Moving On which was used as the opening theme for the PSP port of the visual novel Kono Azora ni Yakusoko Wo. She then made her major debut as a singer with Lantis in 2012 with the single Brave Blade, which was used as the opening theme for the anime Campione. In 2013, she was in a movie called Ryo as Ao. The character's name is very short and the movie title is also very short, just like Meguchi. But then her first big one, Love Live School Idol Project started airing and Megu would lend her voice to Kira Tsubasa, the leader of A Rise, which was Muse's main rivals. She also sang the two songs that they performed in the anime, being Private Wars and A Shocking Party. Also in that year, she voiced the characters Yuko and Yoko in the anime Snafu. If you refer to that show as its full English title, you are a psychopath. And I don't even remember either of these characters, so I'm sure they were pretty minor. 2016 won lead role of Sakuragi Ash Rufflet in Wagamama High Spec. Then in 2017, she had two roles in Armed Blue Gunvolt, those being Cyan and Morpha, and she had an insert song performance as well. But let's move on to the main role, the one you would most associate her with, Hako Udagawa, the drummer of the band Roselia within the Bang Dream franchise. Now, I'm not sure if she had any drumming experience prior. I couldn't find any information, but nowadays, if you've seen some of the recent concerts, man, she is talented. And as I said in the intro, I often see her posting on her Twitter about her practices. Skipping a few years to 2020, she joined the Assault Lily franchise as Mariri Uchida. I think she's only in the anime, though. But this is her first new role in three years. Aside from this, she sang the second ending for the anime Rail Romanesque. In 2021, she released a full album called Kibo My Road, which had 29 tracks that she has been working on or has already released over the last 12 years. 2022, this lovely year, she has had another new role, Miyu Komatsuzaki in Tepen. Apart from this, she has had a few one-episode characters in a few series that I didn't mention, like Prince Sama Maji Love and the Persona 3 movies then a bunch of one-off roles in all the snafu seasons. And aside from all those anime roles, she has also been in a few video games as you can see, the Gunvolt series being pretty notable, and also Idol Incidents and Magical Girl Nanoha. I guess she wasn't in the anime versions of these last two. Concerts would include every Roselia appearance from Bandori, about 8-ish full concerts, and a bunch of side stuff. They've also performed at the usual Anisama and Animax a bunch since 2017. But Megu alone has also appeared at some events throughout Japan like the Kyoto Premium Live. And something I haven't mentioned yet, she is also a DJ and she has DJed at a bunch of events and clubs. We are now on to the fun facts. She is 153 centimeters or 5 foot even. On the socials, she has a Twitter and an Instagram. As for YouTube, well, we'll get there in a minute. The first fact is that in 2017, she changed her stage name and this is when she joined S Inc. Her original stage name was... Well, it was also Megu Sakuragawa, but the spelling in the kanji was different. She is known for her energetic, positive, and fun-loving personality, especially during performances. During the concerts with Ras, her and Sumugi were vibing, like, a lot. It was amazing. I've also noticed while watching her in Yuki Game, she likes to use the English phrase, Oh my god, a lot, and it's really cute. She cuts it off a lot though, so it's usually like, oh my god. Pretty sure I've even seen her wearing a sweater with that phrase on it. But speaking of her and Yuki, the two of them have a gaming YouTube channel called Yuki Megu TV. They upload many times a week and are very entertaining even if you don't understand the language. On top of this, Megu hosts Roselia's radio show together with her bandmate Kuroharu. Megu's hobbies include singing, sewing, yoga, playing video games, collecting goods, and watching YouTube channels. She is very skilled at singing and playing Puyo Puyo. Her favorite food is sweet chestnuts. She admires both Ayumi Hamasaki and Nana Mizuki. I mean, realistically, who doesn't? But in the fourth grade, Megu became a part of her school's brass band club and was a trumpeteer before changing to the snare in fifth grade, which I guess was her first drumming experience. But I couldn't find any information if she kept up over the years prior to Bang Dream. 
Her favorite Roselia song is Firebird, saying the drumming was the most difficult of any song at the time, but it's also very fun. I'm sure Rose and Horizon has dethroned Firebird for a most difficult drumming song. But back to Firebird, this is actually my song recommendation for her. Back in 2017 again, Meguchi was appointed as the support ambassador for her hometown, Sakuragawa City. She also performs narrations for museums and buses in her home prefecture. You know, now that I think about it, this year was also when Roselia really began their activities too. So like, wow, this was a really big year for her. And finally, when she was in college, she spent time in Hawaii in a homestay. She actually wants to move there whenever she retires. Also while in college, Megu was a private tutor on the side. Not sure if this was in Hawaii or not though. But with that, we have reached the ending once again. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Please join me in the next one about Muse's baby. I look forward to seeing you there. Music